When severe weather strikes, high winds, heavy rains, or lightning can cause serious damage to your home or business. The first call you should make is Burke's Fire Water Restorations. With over 40 professionals ready to handle any size emergency situation, Burke's Fire Water Restorations is your severe weather response team. Restore your home, your business, your life. So tell your insurance carrier you prefer to use Burke's Fire Water Restorations. Well, when it comes to wind, we need to be prepared for down trees, down power lines, and there's not much you can do to keep those standing, but there are a number of things that you can do to prepare your home in case it happens. And WFMC's Dwayne Parker is live tonight with more on that for us. Dwayne. Good evening, Wendy. Just as the snow is melting away, many of us here have to prepare for round two and possibly the worst winds we've seen all winter may be headed for our region very soon. So, of course, homeowners want to know how they can protect their home from high winds. The high winds that may accompany the snowstorm headed for our region may take aim at your home, starting with your lawn furniture. Experts like Ted Lavender, CEO of Burke's Fire Water Restoration, recommend tying down any loose furniture and to bring any loose objects indoors. 50 mile an hour winds can actually throw those as a projectile into your window of your homes. High winds could also rip siding from homes and gutters could suffer damage. Lavender says make sure all gutters are cleared. It'd be good to have the downspouts cleared out too. Uh, that would push all the water away from the house. Plus you can help avoid any ice damming. Power outages are also possible. MedEd says its crews are prepared to work double shifts tomorrow. So experts say make sure you have a backup power source. And if you lose electricity, unplug appliances, computers, and clear off electric stovetops. It's amazing I've seen actually fires start because of people stack things on the stove when the power is out. So when the power comes on, obviously they start a fire. If your home is damaged as a direct result of the wind, by law, it should be covered by your homeowner's insurance policy. Sure. Javier Ortega from State Farm Insurance in Reading says you should submit a weather-related claim immediately. He says submitting claims will not increase your premium. People get really frustrated. They don't submit claims. They don't take care of damages. And these damages increase over a period of time, and it's worse. Mm. Now, coming up tomorrow during our live snow coverage, we'll have more homeowners insurance tips from State Farm Insurance agent Javier Ortega here in Reading. Now, experts say it's also a good idea to program into your cell phone the number of the utility companies, the telephone number of those utility companies, just in case of an emergency. We're live in Reading. Dwayne it Parker. all happens in an instant, unexpectedly, and in a moment, your world changes. Fire, ice, wind, water. We can't control the forces of nature, but you can get your life back in control. Burke's Fire Water Restorations is on call with over 40 professionals to handle any size emergency situation. Clean up, repair, restoration, reconstruction. Restore your home, your business, your life. So tell your insurance carrier you prefer to use Burke's Fire Water Restorations. All right, thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. There are two men in critical condition injured in, a, in the line of duty. One is a worker at Reading Hospital, the other a young volunteer firefighter. Both were badly burned this morning when a pipe burst and let loose a whole lot of hot steam inside one of the hospital's buildings. WFMZ's Joel D. Smith has the very latest on the investigation and those victims. Early on, hospital officials say there was a water surge of some kind that caused a huge 40-foot water line underneath Building G to fall to the ground. Plumber David Weber responded to the water, filling up the basement. I brought him on board to the problem as it started at 7 o'clock, and uh, he was in the process of helping us isolate the water. When that cold water hit a steam line, it ruptured, covering a fourth of Weber's body with burns. Well, our thoughts and prayers are with him and his family right now, and it's unfortunate, but we heard he's doing well. Firefighters were quickly called in to help evacuate the building. So we had to make sure that we could cool down the inside of the building with the steam in the water without getting anybody else injured to finish searching the building. No patients were inside and all the hospital workers got out unharmed. But 22 year old Kevin Engstadt, one of the firefighters searching the basement area, was hurt. Firefighters say he received second degree burns on his leg and hand. Both victims were taken to the Lehigh Valley Hospital Burn Center. The folks from Burke's Fire and Water say they'll have this place cleaned up in just a couple days. As for what actually caused all this, well, figuring that out could take a lot longer. No, we're still in the investigation stages. We haven't determined the cause yet. What they do have here is progress. Water is expected to be running again in all the buildings by tonight, and surgeries that were canceled should be back on schedule tomorrow. In West Reading, Joel D. Smith, 69 News, Burke's Edition.
A beat don't burn on the grill. Took a whole lot of trying just to get up that hill. Now we're up in the big league. 